Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this build is going to be a replication almost of uh, a house I have seen pictures of online. Um, so I've used that as my inspiration for this build. Here's a picture of the kitchen that we're going to start on first. Um, so this house is basically, um, the real house is in West Amsterdam in Holland. And it's three stories I believe, like a lot of the houses there, uh, the canal houses and it's quite a high ceiling sort of narrow narrow kind of um build um, and i wanted to put this in an apartment in the sims as well i wanted it to feel as as true to the real house as possible um so i've gone ahead and put it in this uh this apartment lot in the spice dish in the spice market i believe um so we've started with the kitchen, there's lots of natural light coming in, the the white walls and the white floors are a great canvas for all the different kind of textures and um, sort of sources of, of decor in this house. There's a lot of um, different kind of styles going on, there's a lot of almost collected pieces, antique pieces that maybe have been um, collected by The Sims uh, over over a few years maybe and they all come together in this really unique house um, which would be great for a unique sim um, so here I've used these base game counters uh, in the kitchen I thought they were absolutely perfect the color is really nice and I've used them in a much different way than I would usually do so instead of being matched with the top counters um, they there's a lot more shelving going on so the the things that you normally have in your cupboards are all sort of on the shelves all neatly in a row um so it's it makes for some nice clutter but it still looks neat and tidy and more realistic so i actually uh built this a while ago now um, I just hadn't gotten around to recording the voiceover. Um, I actually did this before laundry stuff, uh, laundry day stuff pack came out, which is quite a while ago now, it seems. Um, and obviously we are waiting for the Jungle Adventures now, which is crazy. I'm so excited for that. Um, so yeah, when I built this, I'd just come back from a trip to Amsterdam and I was so inspired to come home and build something. It's the only thing that will make me feel better about coming home from anywhere really um and one thing i did see in amsterdam a lot are those are uh, similar to those plates here they were i thought they were perfect those parenthood plates they are really um well for, for this build i wanted them to represent the the delft style porcelain um pottery that you'll see a lot if you are around amsterdam in the gift shops and that kind of thing you'll see that style um so that was another little detail that i thought was perfect specifically for this build and this ice item here that i've just placed is also another thing um that started uh the whole build really i saw this um item in the picture and i thought oh my gosh there's a there's a parenthood's cabinet that will look just like that so i knew that i could replicate it when i saw that item um and again they've got the plates along the top that really are really perfect uh, for the style I was going for. Now I wanted um, this sort of windowsill shelf, like ideally it would have been at the bottom of the window but you know we can't really move them around so instead I've used these white shelves sized up and um, I've added a little creative corner for the kids, um, some toys just neatly out the way and then some cushions just to hide that little um, accent on the shelf there, I didn't want that there and I tried to match the wood for the dining table as best as I could but again the whole point of this uh, build is that the styles are very mixed and um, eclectic I mean that's the definition is just a lot of mixed uh, sort of sourced um, items I guess uh, there's some ethnic kind of style going on there's a lot of feminine bits uh, uh, placed around as well like these vases for example and the flowers but there's also some very modern pieces like these chairs um so it's all kind of really nicely blended together nothing really matches each other um but it definitely coordinates i think or at least i hope <laughs> i hope it does um so this little nook i wanted to put the fridges 
um, and again I added some shelving. Uh, I just thought that really helped make it look more homey, but at the same time the the items aren't really in the way of your gameplay, so they're just up there to look nice and you've still got everything that you need for a functional kitchen. So in just a second we'll be moving on to the main event of the build, my personal uh, favourite room is the living area so it's the first picture i saw of this build and um of the real house and i thought yeah i can i can i can create this mirror i can do this <laughs> um so i've just blended three of these mirrors together um and then added the larger mirrors in the back pulled the fireplace forward and voila it's covered you can't tell <laughs> so um i really like how that came out the only thing i would change is maybe the frame would be thinner but hey i'm happy with how it came out and the little wall alcove that i've created um the little gap behind really hides all of that mess really well so it's it's not gonna look too glitchy in in, in game um the sofa also is perfect it matched uh, really well to the image from what i could tell it was just a white comfy family sofa um and then on the other side we have some sort of outdoorsy looking chairs they they seem to look very uncomfortable um but i guess the perfect kind of seats for sitting and concentrating or reading or something um so i put those there um and then I'm adding some clutter onto the mantelpiece. Now, this is definitely the focal point in the whole room. And um, I wanted it to look, I don't know, decorated, but not overdone because there's a lot of detail going on on the fireplace and the mirror and everything. So I wanted it to be very balanced. So the walls around don't have a lot of, um, you know, artwork or anything like that on. There's there's one, I think, on the on the right side it's meant to sort of replicate quite an ethnic piece um maybe some african art something like that um but that is about it because i wanted the the focal point to be that mirror above the fireplace and so just pop some random vases and more of the uh, delft plates there and i do love the the lamp just there with the guitar um you can almost tell that this family is very uh, cultured and you know they they're very creative maybe and the tv is i don't even remember if i put a tv um it's not the main focus of the room um now the other main part of this room that you would have seen from the picture is the coffee table and i really wanted to create it or recreate it as best i could and the most important part with this was the texture of the wood to me and um, so i played around with a couple of different ideas um now this isn't the final table i do go back and come up with another way to um get more of that texture you'll see right at the end <laughs> i just wasn't happy with it so um, i did go back and have to blend a couple items uh, but you can decide which you prefer um this is the bathroom. I do believe it's the only bathroom. I didn't really feel the need to put two in. It's not a massive apartment and I had already blocked some corners out here and there so I didn't want to squeeze anything in. Um, so I've just tried to follow the same style uh, of the rest of the house really. I didn't have much of an idea of what would be in the bathroom but I did want some wood textures in there, some um, also some modern and maybe more industrial kind of influence. Um, I love how that table looks with the the sink sort of mounted on and I did have my sim there just uh, test that for you so it definitely works and it shouldn't be a problem at all when you place it as long as you use the uh, move objects on cheek before you place it obviously. And actually if you are wondering about the sim that um, I don't know if you got a peek of her there. Um, I did actually create a sim um, with some really cute outfits sort of inspired by the sort of fashion and style, street style that I saw in Amsterdam. I just, I love that. And I saw a lot of very comfy, casual wear, but worn so stylishly and so effort effortlessly. Um, I just, I loved it. So I made the sim and her name's Faith and she's on my gallery. So you can download her and pop her in this apartment if you wanted to and get in the true Amsterdam spirit. <laughs> um, so anyway, this is the bedroom. 
Um, again, I was trying to just bring those themes from the main rooms through um, while still keeping it very light and bright and just letting this natural light come through and bouncing off those white walls and I that's why I went for a white bed as well I just thought it looked cleanest and then I could really play around with different textures on the furniture around so um, there's a lot of mismatching and you know one piece of furniture versus uh, for example, matching bedside tables, there's, there's only one because maybe wherever it was thrifted from or auctioned from, you know, there was only one of them and the sim just had to have it for their home. So that's the kind of place um, it is. It's it's almost been worked on over time and things have been added. And yeah, that's the kind of feel I wanted. Um, same goes for that uh, wardrobe that I'm placing there in the kids' room. So the kids' room is the most sort of modern room I guess in terms of the toys and things like that there's there's not much that can be old I suppose like things when you would have your sims would have kids you'd buy them new toys and that kind of thing so the one of the oldest pe looking pieces is that wardrobe it just is kind of odd but I love the wood um, with the white contrasting uh, beds and the toys as well the toys I did try to pick more older like uh, wooden sturdy old-fashioned looking toys really you know toys that you'd pass down <laughs> to your kids and grandkids um yeah and i i kind of i wasn't fully happy with this room at first and i actually do go back later and pop uh bookcases into that corner there where the doll's house is um so i ended up raising them up and making a whole wall of books i just thought it was that kind of um family maybe that would have a lot more focus on uh, music culture reading um you know activities like that instead of just video games and stuff and <laughs> I, I wanted that to be reflected in the kids room um so i love this wall of the mountains uh, the mountains of decal there i use that in my scandinavian build it works with so many different styles um, for this one, I just wanted it to be one feature wall. There's not really much going on on the rest of the walls, um, considering it's a kid's room, but there's still a lot of colour coming through in the toys and the rug, and I'm sure the kids will be able to make drawings and things like that to go on the wall. Um, so I did consider that and leave some of the walls blank for that reason. Um, so here I'm going back to the coffee table again. I think this is my second attempt i still didn't really like how it was looking the textures just weren't working for me um as well as these chairs so i i did play around with different outdoor chairs but they just didn't look old enough they didn't look i don't know they didn't look textured enough i really like the textured items in sims 4 and the more they've got going on the the more likely i am to put in them put them in my builds um, and you did just see there the the TV. So there is a TV um, that your Sims will find, but um, it's not on the main wall. Um, so this rug, I made a little fringe on the edge of it. I just like that detail just by moving the furry rug a few times just underneath. Um, I just like that idea. Uh, I think the laundry stuff pack uh, has those kind of rugs actually added which was funny because I had to make my own at that point um, but I guess now you could just replace it with one of those if you have the pack um, and I was just coming back to this room again I wasn't happy with the the little dressing corner I wasn't too sure what to put in there I wanted a piece again that looked unique um, maybe something that had been uh, upcycled possibly so it's it's looking a little worn um, but maybe they stuck some new handles on it and, you know, made it into a new piece. Um, I also put some skill building items, but the rest of the this bedroom I kept pretty plain. Um, I'm hoping these sims are still collecting. They're not done <laughs> with their collection yet. They're not done with their house. They're constantly working on it and adding items and, you know, playing around with, uh, with the influences. Um, of wherever they've gone to to get them so here's the bookcase that I was talking about I do try and uh, have it here and then I just wasn't working for me so I moved it here uh, to the kids room 
it's more out of the way and it's more I think I don't know it's, it's a good influence for the kids room to have all these books and for them to have a love of reading I think it's just nice it's a nice change than having something uh, something electronic in their room um, so instead I sectioned off this hallway uh, which is sort of the entrance and added an archway which I think um, would be common in those kind of Amsterdam canal homes I'm guessing there would be a lot of um, archways just so that the light can come through all, all the way through the house and I added another sofa and then I made this really cute wall um, of photo frames I really like how it came out in the end it's very um, they, they all kind of work together quite well even though they're all from different packs some of them are from debug some of them are modern some of them are quite old looking but I think um, with the the plainness of everything else I think it really works um, so next I am going to go back to the bathroom just one last time. Um, I did a lot of um, experimenting with this build. I wanted to go back, add some more of that orange toned wood. I sized down that side table and made it into a little tray shelf over the bathtub, which I love and it's the first time I've ever done that in a build and I do believe I play tested it as well so your sim should be fine to take a bath and look like they've got their little lotions and potions and maybe a glass of wine I don't know um, so once um, we finished this bathroom um, I do go back to the coffee table one more time I just had to do my best at that coffee table and I ended up using the cats and dogs dining tables size down to get that texture and I don't know you can tell me which of the three ways you prefer um, and here you go here's the comparison so living room kitchen and the dining room and the rest of the rooms I'll just give you a few shots so this is the dining through to the kitchen area um, I do love the the different styles going on in the kitchen the colors coming through uh, with the kids items the entranceway turned out to be my favorite parts of the house I think um, bathroom as well but you can also tell me uh, which is your favorite room I'd love to hear what you think uh, thank you so much for watching I will see you soon